loves, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look and also all about the new Where the Night Is color quad from ColourPop with collaboration of Kathleen Lights. I probably said that a little weird, but that's okay because you understand what I'm saying, right? So today's video, I'm going to be showing you swatches of every single shade that she has created with ColourPop in this quad. Also, she has created lippy colors and the lippy colors I have right here, they're the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils. I got this collection, I wanna say maybe two days, three days ago, but I wanted to create this video and get it up as soon as possible. And I wanted to create a makeup look using this quad also that will be in this video. So yeah, I have got live swatches. Swatches, that came out all London-y, didn't it? So I am going to be showing you live swatches of these liquid lipstick liquid lipsticks. What? So I am going to be showing you live swatches of the lippy sticks, lipsticks, and also the eyeshadows. So if you'd like to see those swatches and know more about this collection, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys all the shades that are inside this collection. And oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. I adored this palette as soon as I seen Kathleen Lights talk about it. I love her so much. If you're not subscribed to her, you should be because she is just so amazing. I'm going to start off with this really, really cool shade and this one's called, I want to say Telepathy. I hope I have that correct. If not, let me know how it is said down below because I love you guys for you know, correcting me sometimes when I'm saying things incorrectly. But Telepathy is this shade right here, and it is a beautiful liquid gold shade. That's exactly what I think of when I see this. It's liquid gold. It's so beautiful. I just, I can't explain it. I know I've seen a, a shade like this somewhere else, but this is so unique. Like this collection, or this shade in this collection is so unique than all the other shades but I thought it was really beautiful. I can't even explain to you how buttery smooth the formula that the ColourPop eyeshadows have. The consistency is so smooth. I mean, you barely have to touch it and you already get pigmentation on your fingers when you apply it. The next shade is absolutely 100% hands down my favorite shade in the entire collection. When I seen Kathleen swatch this shade, I said to myself, Oh, I had to have it. I knew it. I had to have it. It's just so beautiful. I can't even explain to you how beautiful this is. This is called Weenie, and her names are so adorable for the ones, the names that she selected for these shadows. But Weenie was actually her dog Celine's nickname, and I just thought it was so precious. But rose gold is exactly what it says in the pan. It is so beautiful when you swatch it. Oh my gosh. And it's just so pretty. I, I couldn't even help myself. I can't even explain it. It looks pink, but then it's like rosy with a little bit of gold in it. It's rose gold. It's exactly how it shows it to be when you swatch it. And this is what I have all over the lid. I just wanted to just take the shadow and put it all over my eyes. It is insanely gorgeous. The next shade is also a beautiful shade. And when I tell you guys I wanted every single shade, just because why not? Just get the whole collection because every single shade is just gorgeous. This shade is a burgundy shade and it's called Porter, which was after her dog. And I thought it was insanely cute, but the color is just so stunning. I love this. This burgundy, it's not a matte burgundy. And also when I swatch this, it's super, super smooth. But I feel like there's like some specks of glitter in there, but it's very minor. It's not insanely glittery, and that's what I love about these shadows. The last shade in the collection is this shade, and this shade is called Midnight. This is the one shade where I wasn't sure if I was going to have much use for it, because I don't use black shades as much. But when I saw the shade, it it's reminded me a little bit like a green, dark, mossy kind of shade, because you can see some gold flecks in it, but it's got that light black shade as a background base pretty much pretty much like a light or light black base with gold shimmer specks in it so i thought it would be great to put in the outer corner and that's what i did i put this shade in the outer corner and on my lash line as well just to darken up the look so that is it for the ColourPop eyeshadows. Now we're gonna move on to the lippy sticks and the lippy pencils the shades that she created was aquarius and taurus she named hers horoscope 
She named hers after her horoscope, which is Aquarius, and her husband is Taurus. I thought that was really adorable. The first shade is called Aquarius, of course. Aquarius looks like a nice dusty mauve pink to me. It's so beautiful. It's rosy, but it's also dusty mauve pink. Dusty mauve pink. I'm going to go with that because you know, you guys know how insanely great I am at describing colors. The Libby pencil to me though, I feel like, where is it? The Libby pencil to me reminds me kind of like Lumiere, which was the first collaboration that she made. And Lumiere is more like a mauve pink and it's more darker. It's a little bit darker than Aquarius, but I actually have both the lip pencil and the lipstick on, so I thought it was a perfect combination. The next shade is called Taurus, and it reminds me of a nice dark brown, and I forgot to mention that Aquarius is a cream sheen, or not a cream sheen, but it's a cream type of lip color, and, a, and Taurus, Taurus is actually matte. So Taurus has a nice chocolatey brown tone to it, and I actually love it. I have not used this one yet, and Taurus is a matte shade. The Lippy Pencil for Taurus is also a nice chocolatey brown, and I feel like this one is actually a perfect, perfect match. It doesn't look too different from the Lippy Stick, I like Aquarius as to the Lippy Stick itself. That is it for the swatches. Now moving on to this makeup look. If you guys would like to see how I got to this makeup look, then go ahead and keep watching. All right guys, so I've already completed my face, my foundation, my bronzer, my blush, and my eyebrows. I wanted to make this video a little bit shorter, and I've already completed one eye, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the other eye. So for this quad, I realized there wasn't a transition shade, so I did dip into my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette to get a transition shade. And I know that the other Kathleen White's quad does have a transition shade in it, but for this look, I wanted a more rosier type of transition shade, so I dipped into this palette and I use the shade Sorbet, which is this right here. I'm taking the Morphe M330 and taking the shade Sorbet and buffing that all over my crease. And I like this shade because it's kind of pinky because the rose gold on the lid, it just made me feel like I needed a transition color that was more pinky tone. I'm actually not doing this so precise, but I am just keeping the shade in the crease and just buffing back and forth. I absolutely love this crease brush. It's so soft and it does a great job just blending the color all over my crease. Next I'm going to be taking my highlight shade and I know it's kind of crazy that I am working in different directions here, taking different steps, but for my highlight shade on my brow bone and the inner corner, I'm actually going to be using one of the shades that she had in her first collection and this is the shade Glow from the Where the Light Is palette and this color reminds me of a nice matte shade. Now going back into the same Morphe M330 and just buffing out any harsh lines just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. I'm gonna go back to the highlight of my brow because I actually want to do an additional step, but I'm gonna save that for later. Next, I'm going to move on to my lid shade, and this is my favorite part because the lid shade is just so gorgeous. This has to be my favorite shade from the entire quad of Where the Night Is, and this is Weenie. Weenie is a beautiful rose gold, and I absolutely love it. The moment I put it on my eyes, I was like, oh my goodness, where have you been all my life? You are so beautiful. Rose Gold is pretty much my favorite shade when it comes to a makeup look. So I'm going to take Rose Gold and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. You could do this with a brush if you'd like. I actually used my finger because I believe you get the most color payoff when you do it with your finger. Just take some on your finger and I can't explain how soft the formula is. These eyeshadows are super creamy, but they're buttery soft, and the pigment is just so on point. I love that. After you're done with the shadows, make sure to tighten them up by closing them. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Tighten up the jars. Seal them really tight because I think they tend to dry out. I haven't had that problem with my ColourPop eyeshadows, but I think I do a pretty good job closing them up. All right, so moving on to the next shade, I am going to be taking this shade, which is another beautiful color. I love this. This is called Porter. This brush is from Modern Minerals, and it says you are gorgeous on it. I actually got this in a subscription box from BoxyCharm, I think, and I'm just taking some of this and concentrating this in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. 
with the same Morphe M330 and blend out any harsh lines. It's very important to blend, so you want all the eyeshadows to be nice and seamless and smooth looking. Next, I'm going to take this nice dark color, and it is the it is the called <laughs> it is called Midnight. This is a really pretty light black with gold shimmer in it. I'm going to take this and I'm going to concentrate this on the lash line but also a little bit in the outer corner of my eye. Going in with Midnight first, I'm just going to concentrate this in the outer corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking Porter and also applying that on top of Midnight on the lower lash line. The next shade I'm going to be using from the quad, it is this one. This is the last shade in the quad. It is called Telepathy. Correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but I think that's the correct way to say it. It's this beautiful yellow gold. This gold is so stunning. It's so yellow goldy. How can I describe that? It looks like liquid gold to me. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to hit my lower lash line in the inner corner and blend it into Porter and Midnight in the middle. I also go back in with the same pencil brush and just blend the two colors together in the middle from the outer corner to the inner corner. Last but not least, I am going to apply a shimmer highlight to my brow bone and my inner corner. And for that, I'm going to be using the Lorac Mega Pro again. I've been loving this palette so much. I've been using it nonstop. I should be making a favorites video and showing you guys this favorite of mine. I'm going to be taking Sugar, which is this shade right here. And this is going to be going into my brow bone and inner corner on top of glow. And that is it for the eyeshadow. I am deciding to skip out on liner and that is so different for me. I've always put liquid liner on, but I don't want anything to be covering the color that you see on the lids and the beautifulness that you see. So I am going to skip out on eyeliner and I'm going to apply mascara and false lashes. The mascara I'm going to be using today is by Benefit and is their Roller Lash. There you go. And I have not used this on camera yet. I actually wanted to try it out to see how I liked it and I have to say that I am in love with it. And I thought about making a review, but I'm like, okay, well, let me try it out first and I keep trying it out and keep using it and keep using it and it's like, wow, like I love it so much. I'm going to be using this for my mascara and then for lashes today. I mean, you can totally do this without any false lashes and just go the natural look. I am going to be using this, these lashes right here, the ones in the middle. I don't remember. I think they're by House of Lashes, these, this pair right here. This pair right here is by House of Lashes and I forget the names of them. If I find out what name it is, I'll leave it down below just to let you guys know what kind of lashes I'm using. Alright, so lashes are on and I absolutely love these. These remind me of the, they remind me of the Wispies from Ardell. These are House of Lashes and I forget the name of them, I, but if I find the name of them I'll put them down below, but oh my god, they're so pretty. I love it because it just, I feel like it completes the look and it makes it look even more prettier. Alright, so moving on to lips, I am using one of the colors that she created with ColourPop and this one is called Aquarius. I have the lippy pencil and the lippy stick. So I am going to apply the pencil first and then the lipstick. And that is it. That completes the look. What do you think? I think it is so beautiful. The rose gold is the one shade I fell in love with the most. As soon as I seen her video and she swatched it, I said, that rose gold, I had to have it. And of course, with this collection, you can purchase the shades individually, which is a plus. I thought that was amazing because not a lot of people like the entire quad collection together. So I... I was going to buy this shade individually, but then I figured I thought all the shades were beautiful. So I bought the entire quad and both lippy colors, the Aquarius and the Taurus. I really want to create a look using the Taurus color because it's a dark brown color. Let me know if you guys want to see a separate look using the Taurus color and maybe some of the other colors differently on this quad. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Also, before I forget, if you guys like to purchase this entire quad, this quad is priced at $20. If you wish to purchase the shadows individually, they are $5 a piece. 
which is really nice and that's super affordable for such a high quality shadow. And also the lippy sticks and lippy pencils. The lippy sticks are $5 a piece and the lippy pencils are also $5 each if you guys would like to purchase them. I will leave the link to ColourPop's website down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the look and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already just so that you don't miss out on any more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all for today. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!